Monster Jam fans, I'm Nicole Johnson, and I am so glad you guys are here. I want to show you all the ins and outs of my Scooby-Doo truck. Come on, let's check it out. First of all, I've got my BKTs, my 66-4325, baby. And I've got 12 feet tall, 12 feet wide, and 10,000 pounds. Back here, we've got a 1,500 horsepower motor, 540 cubic inches, runs on pure methanol. It's basically a detuned drag race motor. We've got a two-speed power glide transmission, so I only have first and second gear. It's pretty much all you need. Got a big old tail. That's the first thing that you notice on this truck, right? And I think the next thing you're gonna notice is my crazy suspension. I've got two shocks at each corner, so that's eight shocks total. We also have these massive tires that compress when we land and also become part of our suspension. It gives us that really cool look of bobbling around and being a little out of control, but it's actually really important to how this truck lands. Start in Monster Jam actually started in rock crawling many years ago. I was driving over big rocks on gnarly terrain. Um, my husband was my spotter, and we're just used to going over some crazy stuff. So, a Monster Jam truck is just a really big version of my off road buggy. And a few years ago, I actually met Dennis Anderson. Long story short, I'm here today driving a truck five years later now. Everybody has heard of Scooby Doo. Like the little kids, the grandparents, we all grew up watching them. The fans have been so receptive. They love this truck. His tail wags if I stop really quick. All the fans are just on their feet. They're all cheering me on. I love it when I get out there and we fire up our motors, I can hear the fans going crazy. And that's why I love it. Make me turn right. 
and vice versa. This little switch turns off the auto centering, which means if I push it and let go, the tires will actually stay and not come back to center. It's great for a donut so we don't burn up the pump. That's when we turn this off. Of course, this is where all the magic is really happening. We've got our power, fuel, ignition, and all of my fans and controls over here. All these things get turned on. But more importantly, I can just shut everything down with one big slam. I don't have to worry about keys or anything like you would in a normal car. Got my transmission shifter down here. It's just two speeds. First, second, let it rock, baby. That's it. Don't have to worry about anything else. And you know what? My safety gear is top notch. This is a rigid aluminum ISP seat. When I'm in here with my helmet, my head and neck restraint, and all of my harness is on here right, I can't move a quarter inch in any direction. Just my arms and legs. But man, does this keep me safe. And of course, this is my little ride along, my good luck charm. Who doesn't want to bring a little Scooby Doo with them? If a little girl wants to come and do this and, and, and get an opportunity to, to be like me or to drive a Monster Jam truck, I just tell them, you know what? Stay in school and believe that you can do anything you want to do. And I just, I just tell girls, just believe in yourself. Don't listen to what those guys have to say. They're usually jealous that you're doing something that they're not able to do. So just go out there and work hard. My favorite memory with Scooby-Doo has got to be when we pulled off the backflip at World Finals in 2014. You know, before we did that backflip, there was a lot going on in my mind of just survival. The track was so gnarly. A lot of guys were getting taken out early and not ever getting into that position. So I planned it near the end of my run. So the whole time during my run, I'm just thinking, be smart, be smart, be smart. And then I see this wall and I know what I have to do. I've thought about it in my mind a hundred times. You know, you approach the wall rather slow and then you just give it throttle all he has and just let it rotate all the way through the air, opening up that throttle, pushing on that gas. And as soon as you see the grounds, you lift and settle it and hit the brakes. And, and I think I saw the onboard, my eyes were this big. It's, it's gnarly and your whole world just rotates really fast. Like if you're on a trampoline, when you do a backflip, it didn't really feel like we were moving. It felt like the whole universe was moving around us. You know, we had never had the opportunity to even try it before. It was my first try and we did it, we nailed it, we landed it, and it was so awesome. And the fans have been really cool and it reminded me about it like every pit party since. That's my favorite.